language and communication, to be able to have medical care staff who can communicate in Spanish or other languages uh, is a really important piece. Simplemente, si es necesario de hacer un análisis, lo hace, si no, no. With no health insurance, it's very difficult for them to access medical care. The problem is, even if they, uh, if they know how to speak English, and in Spanish, both of them, they don't do that. In the 2000 census, 35,306,000 people living in the United States identified themselves as Hispanic or Latino. This is a 142% increase from the 1980 census. The Latino community now makes up 13% of the United States community, and these numbers show no sign of slowing. One of the most complex issues in the United States is health care and health insurance and Latinos are becoming the largest population without health insurance and other health care benefits. Los hospitales, para empezar, nos examinan completamente. Nos examinan la presión, aquí, donde, todo lo que se debe de examinar cuando uno va enfermo. Y en la clínica, nada más, el doctor nos mira, um, ¿cómo está? Uno contesta, está bien, pero no dice, te duele aquí o acá, no pregunta nada, simplemente... Si es necesario de hacer un análisis, lo hace. Si no, no. Y ya le dan el medicamento y eso es todo. Language and communication. To be able to have medical care staff who can communicate in Spanish or other languages uh, is a really important piece. Uh, I think that it's one thing to get a patient in the door, but it's also another thing to be able to inform them about their health condition and the kinds of treatment that they'll need. Uh, and to be able to explain those uh, matters is very important because what you'll see happen is a person will come in but they won't come back, there won't be any follow-up because they won't have a good understanding or they won't be informed about what they need to do to get healthier or to get better. Problem, I think the problem is even if they uh, if they know how to speak English, and in Spanish, both of them, they don't do that. They, they don't want to speak Spanish with the people. They prefer, because, I don't know why, but they shouldn't. You know, they should speak, uh, if they know Spanish, they should speak Spanish. Because I think that's the way that uh, the moms, they will be, they'll feel more comfortable like that. One of the um, effects of the lack of health, ins health insurance in the Hispanic community is that with no health insurance, it's very difficult for them to access medical care in the private community. We, as the safety net uh, for the community, provide health care to patients that have no health insurance. And so the demand in our community health centers is so great that it's very difficult on a day-to-day -day basis to meet the demand, which in affects us as the cl clinicians to be able to address all the multiple medical issues that patients come in with. And we have to rely on the patient to return at a later date to be able to provide the comprehensive health exam that they deserve. Oh, that's so beautiful. Ah, uh, ah, uh, aha, uh -huh. sticker. And you have Problemas en las clínicas, pues sí hemos tenido, yo he tenido problemas. Uno de ellos fue que cuando recién empecé a asistir a la clínica, um, el doctor me dijo, tú tienes X enfermedad, pero no me explicó, tu enfermedad es para siempre, tienes que tomar medicamentos siempre. Entonces yo, yo ya no seguí con mi tratamiento, ni asistí. ¿Por qué? Porque el doctor nunca me explicó mi problema bien. Esa es una de, mi, de mis problemas que yo he tenido en la clínica. Tengo viniendo aquí a la clínica este, ya dos años y este, vengo con la doctora Sánchez. Pues, como, ¿cómo le diré? Como si fuera como una amiga. Este, ella habla conmigo como 
como si estuviéramos nada más platicando, no de doctor, sino como una amiga. Y me da consejos, eh, es muy cariñosa con mi niña y, este, y la hace sentir a ella segura, que no le dé miedo cuando, cuando vamos a, la, a las consultas, porque más que nada ella como que a veces se pone nerviosa, pero la doctora sí este, como que la anima, le habla cariñosamente y eso le hace sentir pues bien. As a healthcare provider, one of the things that we find um, from the Hispanic community is the expectation that for whatever medical condition they present with, that they should be giving a medication to treat it. It is not always the case where a patient comes in for medical care that they require antibiotics or a, a medication. Um, it may all be a viral infection that will require some rest and lots of liquids, and so that makes it very difficult for the Hispanic community to accept sometimes the treatment that is provided here. Este, pues ahorita este, estoy este yendo a la, aquí a la clínica, por lo menos de que estoy embarazada, y este, y ellos me están ayudando con todo el papeleo, este. Yo pensé que tenía, porque estoy aplicando para medical, entonces yo pensé que tenía que ir a escondido o una otra parte. Y no, ellos este, me están ayudando en todo, me, me ayudan cómo llenar los papeles, qué es lo que necesito. Este, así que solamente tengo que venir a la clínica para que este, ellos, ellos me, me ayuden en eso. Este, tengo una trabajadora social que... Uh, me aconseja, habla conmigo y, y sí, me, me, me gusta cómo me tratan. That there's research that suggests uh, if you are from a lower socioeconomic group uh, and or African American Latino, uh, there is evidence suggests that there's less, uh, lower quality healthcare being provided. Partly because you can't afford the, the high quality care, but also you're not being provided the high quality care when you go seek it out, which you ought to, it's everyone's right to be able to get high quality health care, at least that's what uh, we talk about, but it, you're not seeing the kinds of treatment treatments being provided to Latinos or African Americans who have the same ailment as non-Latinos or non-African Americans. Well, we feel that education is one of the most important factors in helping the community remain healthy. And also, information is important in terms of um, giving them the tools to obtain health insurance and healthcare access. Well, the healthcare issue is a very complex one um, from the federal government looking at what ways we can provide access to medical services and how we can provide health insurance to um, families that do not have health insurance through their um, employers. And the thing that we, we focus on is collaborating with other health care agencies and other social service agencies to maximize the, do the dollar um, for the provision of medical services. Right now we're seeing proposals and actual cuts in health care services uh, and eliminating actually services for families in the state of California. So the problem with that is the fewer clinics, the fewer services, the less that Latinos will use health care services. It's one thing to get Latinos to use health care services by making the clinics available and making that an option. But if Latinos don't see clinics as an option, they won't seek out the health care that they need to address their uh, health care issues. As Latinos continue to be an influential community, health care and health insurance policies will be required to adjust. Government shows signs of adjustment in legislation such as SB 921, but the larger issue of illegal immigrants and health care and insurance policy remains in contest.